Hi, I'm Stars Cross and welcome, welcome back, my little stars. Today, we are going to be decorating the entrance to my cottage core area, part of my own. So we're gonna be decorating this area right in front of Marshall's house. Um, it is a lavender garden too, if you didn't know. Well, lavender farm. Anyways, I'm gonna start with putting a flower here and I'm gonna go ahead and put on the um, constructor, island designer constructor hat thingy so that we can put down the path but I won't bother you with the details it's just the plain you know pretty popular animal crossing you know cottage core nine tile path but I'm gonna skip to the part where it's already done so I will see you then all right I just finished placing down the path and it's just your normal cottage core nine tile path of course and the custom design code will be in the description for you in case you want to download it and the same with that bridge down there in front of the um, the path, that custom code will also be down there for you because all the custom designs that I use, I have you know the code saved so that you guys can use it too in case you wanna maybe copy the, um, the build that I'm doing or if maybe you yourself want to make something with that design code. But anyways, I just put down these two mush lamps because I'm trying to make a symmetrical entrance with two mush lamps obviously and then two cedar trees behind them obviously the cedar trees are a little bit hard to make symmetrical just because you know they're bigger and also they both can be like right in front well they can be right in front of the water but they have to be one square away but i think it's pretty symmetrical i guess so now i'm gonna go ahead and start decorating i think i'm going to start by putting down a path where marshall's house is just another entrance to it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I think I'm just gonna do a little circle, so I'm just gonna do that real quickly, speed it up. But yeah, I'm just gonna do a little quick circle. And then I think I'm gonna put some stone, like little stone paths. It's like a stone, stepping stone stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that down. And now we can go, scar. Oh my gosh, now we can start really decorating. So I'm gonna put, Rover's briefcase. I really love decorating with this um, item. It's just super cute. So you can get that from Rover in the Mayday Maze um, if you want to maybe time travel back to that day, I guess, if you didn't do it. So I'm going to go ahead and push that behind the tree. And then I'm going to put some bushes over here. I don't really love the flowers on these bushes, but when they're not in season, I really like the shape of them, so that's why I'm gonna use those. So they're just pink azalea bushes. So now I'm gonna put a maple um, pond stone right here, just so that there can be stuff here and it's not so empty. I'm just gonna push it over there. And now I'm gonna work over here in this big area. I'm not sure what I wanna put there, but I think I wanna decorate with a mush parasol. I haven't decorated with one, that I've been wanting to, and there's a space, so I'm gonna go ahead and place that. I think I might put an apple tree, but I'm gonna put some barbed wire fencing here first. So I'm just gonna put that all along right here, the water, because I kinda want a tree there, but obviously, like I said, you can't. It has to be one square away. So I'm just gonna put those fencing there and then a flower right here, just the white lily one. And then now I think I'm just gonna put some shrubs and flowers right here in front since I can't put a tree so close to the fencing. Well, at least I don't think. Cause I don't want one in front, right in front of the mush bear so or else you can't see it. So I'm gonna put a shrub here. You know, first let me put the flower over here or else I, um, won't be able to go back there. So I'm gonna put a flower here, probably the red pansy flower. You know, maybe a lily would look nicer because I already have a red pansy over there. And then now I'm gonna put the shrub. So I'll put the shrub right there. And then I'm gonna change this one with a red pansy because I have a white lily over there already. So I'm gonna change that with the red pansy. And there we go. So let's see, I think maybe I can pull this over here, so it's not so empty over here. And then I can put a apple tree right, no, right here, yeah, right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that apple tree there. And I think that's 
pretty good. I'm gonna put a moss ball right here though, just so it's not empty. I kind of want to keep as little empty spaces as I can, just so it can be super full and cluttery because I feel like that's how I like cottage core myself. So I think I'm gonna put a moss ball right there. And you know what, I think I've never decorated like this before, but I think maybe I wanna try decorating with some hedges. The hedges fence. I've never really done it before, but I think it looked pretty cute. So it's not like a shrub, but it sort of is like a shrub. Just another greenery kind of thing. And then I'm gonna put shrubs right here in front of the fencing. So I'll put one here. I think this is my last one, so I'll just go get some more. All right. I'm gonna place this shrub right here. Cause I got some more, I got lots more. So I'm gonna put a bush right here with a shrub. And you know, I think I'm gonna put a fencing here, the barbed wire fencing, cause I think that might be cute. And some flowers too, that'd look really nice because again, I wanna keep as little empty spaces as possible. And over here, I can't put a lot of trees cause it's really close to the water. So I think I'm gonna just fill it up with some fencing and greenery like flowers and shrubs and all that. So I'm gonna place a white lily here. And that's kind of all the flowers I have for now, but I'll get more. So I'm just gonna start by placing the rest of the barbed wire fencing that I have. And then I can place some shrubs too, because I still have some. So I'm placing the shrub there, and I think that's all I can do for now. But now I'm gonna finish putting the other shrub over here, because I want it to be two shrubs. So not cover the fencing, but you know, have something in front. So it's a little bit clutter, cluttered here, but I kind of like it. So I'm gonna take this pansy so I can continue decorating over there with more flowers. And right here. I kind of like this. It's gonna be like a little small secret area where you can sit by the river. That would be really cute. So there we are. I think that's pretty cute. And I think I'm gonna put a shrub here. I think that because it's, it's kind of just empty and I don't really want it to be empty. So I'm just going to put a little shrub here. I think that looks good. And let's see, I think maybe another um, hedge, hedges, hedge thing. So I'll put another one right here because I kind of want to put flowers, but I already have those pansy flowers and the white hyacinthamum flowers, so it'd be too much. So I'm going to put another one here. And I think another flower right here, white lily. And then I'll put the barbed wire fence right here, right there, right, okay, right there, there we go. Okay, I think that looks pretty cute. And now I think I'm gonna place some dropped pumpkins. I think that might be pretty cute. Especially because the fall is coming soon in Animal Crossing. You can already see the grass is getting darker. So I think maybe some pumpkins would do. And usually people drops, um, drop uh, mushrooms. But I think maybe these pumpkins would look pretty cute too. And then I'm going to go ahead and place the same path. But of course I'm just going to speed up to when I already have it done. So I'll see you then. All right, I just finished placing down the last tile. So I think that's pretty cute too, that path. So this path is just gonna connect to the rest of the cottage court area, like to the cafe and all that. Obviously I'm not done and I'm not gonna do it now just because it's supposed to be a little quick video for Monday, but I'm gonna put some flowers here. And I think I'll start a path over here, but I won't finish it just so I can finish it later once I know it's gonna be over there. So I'll see you when it's done. All right, I just finished the path and now I'm done with the build. So I'm gonna go ahead and be right back so we can tour it. Okay, now that I've taken off my helmet, we can go ahead and start the tour. So here you come from the bridge from the city court area. Then you can come up here to maybe Marshall's house if you wanna go visit him. Or you can come down here to the beach too. Obviously this beach isn't gonna stay full of flowers just for now, but whatever I have there, you can go ahead and go down there. 
then you can come over here to the rest of the cottage core area obviously i don't know what's going to be there but whatever's there you can go ahead and go to and if you want you can even come down this little secret area so you can hang out by the river and all that so that's pretty much it it wasn't a very big or long build but like i said monday's videos are always going to be like this but but as always my socials will be in the description please like subscribe comment Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.